This is Twit. Microsoft uh, pulled the pin on this grenade and they announced a lot earlier than I would have expected that they are going to indeed support Windows 10 as expected, not for 10 more years. What does that say, 10 more years? Uh, for three more years. <laughs> but it'll cost uh, you. To an extent. But it'll cost you. It sure you. will. Yeah. But here's the, here's the, uh, here's the twist. They're going to offer this uh, uh, to consumers as well, not just businesses for the first wow. time. Oh, well, how much? Did they say a price? No, Leo, because that would be good information that people would want. Um, no. Isn't so they're going to the announce. Case, they've always done this for enterprise at great expense. Yes. Right? Well, they've done it for the big ones, right? So they did it for Windows 7. They mm -hmm. did it for Windows XP. I think they did it for XP twice, or they at least extended yeah. it once. Um, and yeah, I, when I, we had a conversation on the show, I don't know, a month or so ago, where I went back and looked at stat counter, you know, uh, uh, use and share, I'll call it, uh, relative to this time period in the Windows 7 timeframe. And Windows 7 was actually a lot lower than Windows 10 is today by percentage. Um, but they did the ESU for that. And, you know, at the time, it was like, obviously, they're going to do this. I thought they'd wait until the last minute. Um, they've been talking big about, um, you know, everyone should upgrade to Windows 11. It's going great. And yeah, no, a lot of people are just staying on Windows 10. So probably it, roughly two thirds. It is two years away, right? Like they, that gave us a lot of time. Yep. Surprised yep. they did this early. Well, this is the, uh, yeah, I mean, there'll be a Windows 12 or whatever we're going to call the next thing. And a lot of people are going to skip 11. And I, I would just say, look, I, I, there's a lot of disgruntledness still out in the world about Windows 11. I think Windows 11 is fine. You know, I, I, yeah. um, it wasn't fine when it first shipped. I mean, there was a lot of regression there, um, but they fixed all that. And I think it's a better looking OS. I, we can quibble over the security stuff, I guess. Um, there's some convoluted language in this announcement where they kind of commingled the security benefits of Windows 11 with Copilot. <laughs> like, what? Which doesn't have any security implication at all. Sure. Put AI on there. Um, it'll be more secure. You bet. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that was all about. Not to mention the fact that uh, Copilot is in Windows 10 now. So. Anywho, um, the no yeah, so nominally and, they said as as with all their versions, ten years, which is mm -hmm. what tw when in tw when twenty twenty five October twenty 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 five, yeah, exactly ten years, yeah. But yeah, there you're going to be able to buy at some unnamed price three more years, even as a consumer, not not merely a that. That's right. Big but they have price. not announced the pricing for either audience. So, Do you, can we'll you speculate? Is it could be a thousand dollars? I mean, what? What I'd like to see them do for consumers and say is say, hey, if you're a Microsoft 365 subscriber, you get it. Yeah, yeah. that'd be perfect. I think so. And that but would I, no, I don't subscriptions. I, That's a good idea. Yeah. But we'll see. I mean, one of the big uh, things that will happen between now and then is um, a lot more AI stuff in Windows. And we've discussed this notion of, do they charge for this? I mean, at some point, does it become a problem? Like how do they recoup the costs? Um, I don't know. And, it's, and they're you, saying it's only security patches. Like why would you ever deny anyone a security patch? This is the, th all right. So here's the, it's here's wrong. the dark side. This is my, <laughs> the dark side of our community, Richard, in case you've never noticed this is they complain about everything. So for example, in my audience, people read my site um, when they were doing ESU for windows seven, the big complaint was, how come I can't buy this? I mean, I'm not a business, but I don't, you know, why can't they do this for everybody? And now they're like, okay, we're going to do it for everyone. Like, well, I don't have to pay for this. It's like, guys, seriously. Like, I, I it's just, it's so classic and predictable. But um, I think this kind of covers the bases, right? So within the context of, yes, Microsoft artificially, uh, you know, changed the hardware requirements of Windows 11. And we, you know, we can all complain about that. We should. But, you know, I always do the math on... Um, you know, the Windows, or no, I'm sorry, the Intel uh, 7th Gen Core, right? What year did that come out? And what's that computer? Yeah, a long time ago, right? Yeah. Well, not that far back, but uh, I think 6th Gen was 2012. And I, I only remember that because of the Surface Gate stuff. So it was probably the following year. So it's, you know, 10 years ago almost, at least, you know, 10 probably. Um, what will that computer look like in five years? Which is what we're looking at here, right? Two years to the end of support plus three more years. I mean, that's uh, those aren't the only computers running Windows 10. I know that. But if you literally got cut out of Windows t uh, 11 because of the hardware requirements, that's the line. And I think that's reasonable, you know, um, that time frame. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that, right? You know, it, 
this thing works perfectly fine. Why can't I keep using it? We've all been in the subway when the Windows XP screen comes up on there. Or I've been to my dentist or my, one of my doctors also, Windows XP, Windows 7 now. Um, well, and that's going to be, happen. It's not like Windows 10 is going to burst into flames if you don't buy the ESP, <laughs> right? It no, that's what, that's what Mac OS does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, sorry, sorry. To see if he was still there. Um, so yeah, the <laughs> I don't know. I, I to me this is fine. I mean, other than the fact that I don't know where the cost is going to be, and who knows, they may surprise us. You know, if, if you're on an unmanaged PC, maybe the right thing to do is let you have the security updates. Right? Mm -hmm. We'll see. But I, I feel like it's weird because I, in this case, look, I complain about everything. You know that. I mean. Um, I'd like to think that my complaining is in some way righteous, but when I look at this, I'm like, no, this is fine, right? I mean, this is okay. Yeah, but it's, For all it, of the it's weird to announce something and not say how much it's going to cost. That, that That's bizarre. So, yes. So, on the one hand, I give them a little bit of credit for providing this clarity this far in advance. This is really about businesses, and it gives them that time frame now they yeah. need to plan. And they right. know what this might have cost in the past, and they can kind of figure, okay, it's going to be something similar to that. Um. You know, for individuals, I mean, most individuals never even heard about this, so that don't, they don't, they don't, doesn't really impact them too much at all. Um, and I have to imagine, you know, a normal consumer, a mainstream, non-technical person, one day they're going to get this weird pop-up on their screen and says, hey, uh, we noticed you're not upgrading to Windows 11. Uh, you can keep using this, but you have to start paying us now. And it's going to be like, wait, what? You know, that's not going to go over too well, um, for sure, right? And what's that going to look like? What does that do to people? Like... Um, will those guys go to, to a Mac or um, maybe even a Chromebook or something? I, I mean, I don't know. So I think part of it is they really don't know the right way to handle this, but they did know, and they they were correct, I think, in announcing this as soon as they did because it's really about businesses and their planning schedules and um, their hardware cycles, and, and they'll upgrade to new hardware sometime between now and then, and they can plan accordingly, and they'll probably go to the next, whatever the current version of Windows is at the time. I mean, that's the usual thing that you end up doing. The question, uh, you, we give two years time horizon, so that means do you stop a migration project? You're not going to do it now because you don't need to, uh, but you don't know how much it costs. So This is the balancing act, right? Do you want to, yeah. like, oh, God, we just got a reprieve, you know? But you didn't really because there are yeah. costs associated with it, right? So if you were planning on migrating or, you know, upgrading some, whatever it is, you buy new computers, you're going to put Windows 11 on them. I mean, I think the only thing that could change now is you might want to wait because what if there's some good AI stuff going on in Windows 12 or whatever, yeah. and the computers that come out a year or two from now are going to have better MPUs and whatever capabilities. Um, that honestly is not a horrible strategic bet to make either. If you're going to spend the money anyway, it might make sense to wait. Can we get another year out of the hardware we have now? Almost certainly. Yeah. Or. Right. So there you go. I, 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 usually I could find something, but I, to me, this is just like, no, this looks, this is, yeah, this is good. Well, I, right. I'm sub like kind of what you expected. Maybe more. It Soon happened you. earlier than I expected. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, based on simple math, there was no way this wasn't happening. Yeah. Um, but I just didn't expect to hear it now. It was, that just came out of the blue. So good for them. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. Invest in your current workforce and fortify your business's future. Your whole team will love to be entertained while they train. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro enterprise solution plan after completing their form. Based on your team's size, you'll receive a properly quoted discount tailored to your needs. 